21068, one second off yesterday's 11 floor time. You're getting better. Sprinted up the hall this time. Mm -hmm. Last time I didn't have to, the maintenance guy goes, you know the freight elevator works? I said, yeah, I don't have a key. So. Fuck that shit, dude. That's some whack shit. Yeah, it's still broken. Um, the meeting this morning got postponed. Oh, it did? Yeah, until Thursday. Tomorrow is the motherfucking 500. It's tomorrow's your challenge, but there's two new pair of Y3s that just dropped that I'm gonna cop for sure. They have both have boost. Oh! What are those Berlin EQTs? What about them? They're hard to get. You don't even want a shoe you can't use. Wait, why can't That's what my question is about that shoe. A lot of people hit me up to get it because I feel like it's a waste for me to have it. Why? Because it's so rare you're not going to wear it? No, because the fucking shoe allows you to travel on the transit for a year. So why would I need it in fucking United States? Oh, that's somewhere? amazing. I didn't know. I just saw that camo. And why was do like... you like the, the camo? That's not camo. Well, whatever. That's the fucking pattern on the inside of the train in Berlin, you fuck. I've been to Berlin, haven't you? No, I haven't. I've been to Berlin. But pattern on the inside. It's a cool shoe, it's a cool EQT, but it, for me. So you can scan it to get on the rail. That's the whole. I, I saw all the pictures with yeah. the rail. I just didn't read it. That's the whole thing is that you get, it gives you a year's worth of travel on the train or whatever. So I feel like that's kind of weird for me to have it. Because a lot of people hit me up beforehand, which happens a lot. Like, you know, yeah. a lot of shoes when they're coming, people are like, hey, if you need a proxy, I got you. You know, day of, what I've learned using proxies back in the day is that day of, every proxy hits you up and is like, yeah, release didn't really go how I thought. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And you lose that anyway. So we'll see. If someone hits me up today or tomorrow. And were they in store only? That's like, what, I don't fucking that's know. That's what I thought. I <laughs> well, then what? It's, it's harder to get. Because it's in Berlin, in yeah. the store. I hate you. Nah, they released in fucking Philadelphia, dog. They're actually releasing right now in Philadelphia. They should do it in Philadelphia and do a Philadelphia train pass. Your mom Denver. should go to Philadelphia. My mom does go to Philadelphia because my sister lives I'll bet there. she does. To the historian. The historian! In the house. Oh man. I had music. They got delivered yesterday, but I didn't get an email. I wonder if they're just so busy dealing with elevator shit that they didn't fucking email about packages. Yeah. I can love the internet. I believe it. I believe what I see, and there may be a tattoo gun. You don't have time to look now. We'll look when we get back. Oh, look at Any cool toy stores in Denver? Um, I don't know. What do you what do you just what would be your definition of a cool toy store? Like Macaulay independent. Oh, you know, some like kind of like a fun little toy store. Like, a fun little toy store. Yeah, like, like something other oh, toys of us. Do you want to spend kid, Christmas Eve life. inside of it and the then like break out in the middle of the night or the what? What kind of toy store are we talking here? For Sticky like... bandits? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, there's no FAO Schwartz here if that's what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, but I went even a little more indie than that. I oh, want, more like, indie than FAO. Yeah, okay. like a little hipster kind of. Like Larry's Toy Chest or something? Yeah. You want something like that? No, yeah. it doesn't exist. It's probably a Toys R Us. Yeah. <laughs> what I think is funny is we're looking for a remote control, like basically anything. To, I just want to fuck with Omar. I just want to like have a remote control toy that he can just tear apart. Yeah. And that. for some reason, Ernie thinks that this obscure toy store in his mind is probably only placed in the North Pole. It's going to have what we're looking for. I'm just looking for an adventure. Yeah. I just, you know, Toys R Us's are so disappointing. When I was a kid, I remember them being so fucking awesome. And then, um. Then you grew up and the toy store wasn't as cool anymore. Weird. Yeah, but not even. <laughs> wasn't as cool they're just like dingy and grimy and it was always like that you I just, guess didn't so. I just didn't recognize it because you were excited about getting fucking toys yeah i know it's like anything but now as you I grow up the fucking us. polish wears off and you're like oh <laughs> Sucks, man. Oh man, here we go. That was the good old days. Yeah, back when the Jordans had leather. Shit. Shit, man. You just get depressed or what? I don't know. Hitting you with the truth bombs. Yeah. Hey, man. The key to life is just repolishing. You're never actually satisfied. It's all temporary. You hungry? You be satisfied. You're gonna get hungry again. It's all the same. It's all the same. It's fucked up. The hunger lives within, my friend. Yeah, well, I'm starving. Yeah, me too, dog. That's not what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that on the plot. <laughs> okay, we gotta start looking for parking at the old historian's ale house. When the dude puts the 500 on the table, I'm just gonna pick it up and slant and just down it. All 500, like, hey. Challenge nice. starts now. Challenge starts, thanks. Oh, here we go with some parallel parking. Let's Skillful. see, let's Skillful. see, let's see. Um, did you want to admit to the audience how you shorted my fucking sack yesterday? Or uh, yep, I did, I did. And this 
is horrible parallel parking. So we're gonna we're gonna do this one more time. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't leave. This girl's cares. fucking. That guy just oh, this guy's out. judging you. Oh, no. He's shaking his head because you didn't park it. Oh, now he's looking back. He's literally looking back and shaking his head like. You should open your window like, bitch, that's why you walking. Yeah, that's why you walk. It's always the walkers that think they can parallel park the best. No, I got no problem with these homeless guys. The he's reputation, I tell you that my, my that live stream. Homeless. Oh. That guy's just walking to work. Oh, because oh, you attacked that homeless guy? <laughs> People ask me about it every day. I'm like, I didn't attack somebody. It was premeditated because we were in the ice cream place and you were like, if he says something to me, I'm going to go off. And I said, Earn, just let it go, man. Like, that's what he wants you to do. Just ignore him. And you didn't do it. So that to me is a premeditated attack. I'm sorry. All right, we're going in the meeting. <laughs> Friend used to work at an old old dispensary like way back in the day would go to I don't know like cannabis cup or whatever the fuck like different little events and she brought back some of your stuff. Cool. Were they ever in the shape of robots? Yeah. Okay. That's, so that's, why. that's how we got the name. So how are you doing? Good. Good. How are you? Well, thank you. Bud Light. Bud Light's good. Can I see your ID, please? Yeah. Oh, baby face. Yeah. Uh, test every batch now, which I'm cool with to make sure your stuff is dialed in. There's test results on me. I was actually. Uh, out. If you look on the bot, you know, on the bottom of the side, they have test results. Oh, that's. All awesome. those 500 milligrams came out a little hot. They're all around like 550 to 560. So uh -huh. each piece is about 55 milligrams. Nice. Yeah. We're gonna roll out is a vegan gummy. And but we're also trying to do a sugar-free one so you can cater to diabetics all nice. Oh, that's good yeah, too. Smart. And your flavors. Whatever you do for the flavors, yeah, I love them, dude. It's, it's fucking really great. Good. The flavor is like... That's why I'm excited for the apple pie, regardless yeah. of the milligrams. Just, so open just, that, just open it and smell it. Oh, yeah, dude. It smells like the oh, holidays. Nice. <laughs> that's awesome. Like that's amazing. Good. How many milligrams? So these are 15 a piece? Yeah. They're kind of the entry yeah, I was going to say, we might as well try yeah, them. Yeah, th those are more kind of just basic. Yeah. Right now. yeah. Right. Oh, um, no, it's mine. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. Um, Thank you guys, appreciate you. Thank you. Those other Wana gummies, they just spray it across the top of the whole batch. It's black. Oh. Hmm. Uh, You're gonna drive with the edibles in your lap. <laughs> so. I love you these so happy. I just don't want to put them down. <laughs> Look at this shit, dude. There's a person. She's breaking the law, but there is a person. Turn left. Keep it moving, man. More people. There's more. Oh, God. Now we're, we're breaking around them. I'm I, can't, I can't afford to wait. Am I supposed to include this in the vlog? No, don't include <laughs> this in the vlog. <laughs> Thank God I never went the boot route. I was thinking Yeah, just that. Crocs. <laughs> you weren't a boot guy. You're just a Croc guy. Yeah. Them toe shoes, too. I can see you doing that. You got them, don't you? No. Ox were like 40 bucks, super lightweight and comfy. As lightweight, because well. you were fucking moving swiftly through the space, right? You were just like waiting tables at Red Lobster, like, no, if I could just move a little quicker, I could increase my tips by 6%. Maybe yeah. if you stop eating lobster biscuits in the back, you can fucking increase your tips. Oh my god, dude! I've How many lobster biscuits? <laughs> you never I'm even told even me. It. You've never even talked about it, and I know that you're just back there crushing. Oh lobster yeah, dude. like the first eight months, then you do actually get sick of them. But of you course. would come in in the morning, and the first thing they would do is they put them on and they drip, dude. They have a vat of this garlic butter that every 15 minutes you're supposed to just come by and splatter them with. No matter they who, just, there's like a timer, like yeah. lost. I have to push the button. And every hour if they're like old or half hour I don't remember what it was you'd get rid of them but that's when I would eat that's, <laughs> that's like, when it was time to feast yeah, they'd be like we're getting rid of six biscuits and make send them over to the office I, I'm know, in here doing hey, paperwork Carl I'll put a bucket by your uh, by the thing there every biscuit you're gonna throw out just throw in the bucket I'll take them out later I want to help out yeah meanwhile you're at Ern's house there's a fucking lobster biscuit couch fucking <laughs> <laughs> just chilling on it. Yeah, my, my years of managing Red Lobster were amazing. And I got Ooh, we should go see if we can find the blunt in the parking lot. We never did that the other day. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about that parking lot. You're afraid to go down there, huh? Yeah. Do you think the dude's going to come outside? If he comes outside, I'm going to ruin his whole week. I know, but this whole week is going to get fucking ruined. Whole week, dude. Just stay inside, dog. I'm just looking for my blunt. I threw. I don't want a kid to pick it up. You know, I, someone said that, like, be careful where you're throwing weed. I'm like, eh, most of the kids around here smoke weed. Yeah. You know, it's like literally the kids walk from their school to in front of my apartment to burn down blunts. Dude, and honestly, anyone who's lighting something on fire and smoking <laughs> that it they that found they on the found ground. on the ground, it's not their first fucking, <laughs> yeah. what is this? 
Hey, I don't know, pick it up, light it, hit it, see what it is. Uh, I've never smoked before, doesn't matter. What better time? Well, also, the one's never rained down from the heavens before either. Yeah. He's just walking to school all depressed. He's like, I don't know what to do. And the blunt hit him in the shoulder. Yeah. And then he saw how little it was, and he got more depressed. He's like, never mind. He threw it. <laughs> also, snow, dude, and has been plowed. Oh, yeah, it's not out there. That's right, it's gone, never mind. You go, I'm gonna race you. Don't be the shortcut. Yeah, I'm good. I'm racing them up. 11 floors. Here we go. Oh, I had two beers with lunch. Teddy's in the elevator. Is this quicker? I'm on the fifth floor, I don't know. Got my racers. Three more for it. One more. Hey, bud. How you doing? I thought I'd be here. No. Look at your face. Did you run? You ran. I half ran after two beers in that burger and holding these. <laughs> holding these. Tomorrow's 500 milligrams challenge. Is this the. Yeah, show them the bottom so section. We just left our meeting with what is called Robots. Robots. The BHO stands for the BHO they used to use, which is now a distillate. Tomorrow, these get tested. And their milligrams are on the bottom. 543. Will you let? Okay, sorry. And oh, there's 543.17 in this one. We got the tangerine, pineapple tangerine. It's going down tomorrow. Look at the lemon lime, dog. Yeah. 561. I'm off my lemon lime. So tomorrow, tangerine guy. We'll be doing the real 500 milligram challenge. Shout out to Robot. I don't really tell you guys to follow people, but if you like edibles, these are the ones that I fuck with. I'm really hyped that we're gonna be working with. The peach mango. Someone I fuck with. 570. Back up off, son. Back up off, you already chose the destiny. You already chose Tangy God. I know, I know. This is what you get tomorrow. Take a picture, send it to my mom, tell her I made it. There she is. Ultra. I am. Let's see if he tried to. Ooh. Oh shit! Shout out to the fucking. It's crazy because these came from the UK. Kick posters. Got a kick posters insert. That's the first time that's happened organically. This is a big day. Oh, I like those. Oh, these are fire. For three M. I was just gonna ask. This is what I'm supposed to watch. Yeah, I got time. Tattoo gun as we know it is painful and outdated. Tradition didn't scare me away from it. Number one, the first reason that this is fucking bullshit. Before, how many seconds has it been? Six. The first reason is that they called it a fucking tattoo gun. So there's our first fucking thing of why this is fake. Second, putting a British person in something does not bring it fucking legitimacy. Innovating an entire industry. I knew I could create a more Dude, sensible version like... of the equipment. A deliberate and precise air-assisted push of the ink gets the same result as a needle without. Did that fucking thing just little bust a little ink nut all over the that I just saw? I just like, how does that fly? Why did you believe this for even a second? I definitely believe that I just said. Okay, I didn't even watch this far, dude. I didn't even watch this far. My colleagues have been using the blow dart prototype with positive results across the board. I stopped watching after the The freedom the there has met the permanence of ink. There is nothing left to fear when getting a tattoo. It feels more like grandpa nibbling on your arm with his chompers out than the- uh, People don't realize how much shit you bring me every day from the internet where you're like, is this real? And I'm like, no, Ern, it's not. I don't even have to see it and I know it's not real. It's probably a dozen things a day. It's true. 
in, yeah. It's, ooh, let's look at the reviews. My son waited patiently for the day after his fifth birthday to play. I want to animate this as I read it. Okay. I wish that I had time to animate a story. You could do this three sentences. <laughs> Our son waited patiently for the day after his fifth birthday to play with this because he didn't have time to install batteries. Finally, the big day is here and after much anticipation, we install the batteries to discover the toy goes about two feet before stopping and not responding. If you wait a few minutes, it will go two feet before dying again. Needless to say, there were tears frustration and disappointment. Not what you're looking for from a birthday gift experience. All right, how about Heather underneath? Heather underneath, two stars. Broke very easily. Um, <laughs> well, that looks big. Yeah, yeah it's like that. No, that's pretty long. That's his hand. Yeah. <laughs> I love like the beautiful happy music. Welcome to the island where the cockroaches rule the world. The cockroaches rule the world. Welcome to the island where the cockroaches rule the world. <laughs> cockroaches rule the world. That's amazing. <laughs> <coughs> Parent child interaction. Here, play with this remote control thing, child. I'll watch you. We're interacting. Yeah. Get as soon as February 6th. February 6th! February 28th. What Dude, the? Dude, you're looking at the Toy of the Year finalist. Uh -huh. This looks good. Yeah. It's also not prime. Motherfuckers. Why are all the good shits Toys of the Year? See all about the options. Because you got these motherfuckers out here convinced you're some sort of weed god. And you're light. You're light as fuck. You. I used to fly to New York with weed and you'd be like, I can't do any more dabs. I can't eat forever. I can't do this weed shit like you, man. It's crazy. And then now all of a sudden you get a little Instagram live in the morning. You're like, yeah, I got all these weeds. I smoke. I eat it. That's what I do, son. No. No. No, sir. And if you eat 500, here's your deal. If you eat 500, you don't pass out before 10 o'clock p.m. Because that's you're staying all day tomorrow. If you don't pass out, Go then on. I'll eat 500 the next. And then you can edit that vlog. And if, I, and if I pass out, and if I pass out before you in time frame, like let's say you make it six hours, seven hours, whatever. If I pass out before you, I'll buy you a pair of shoes. Oh, I like that. Where? Oh. Do you think you'll just destroy it instantly? No, I think he'll pick it up. I mean, essentially, I'm just thing. getting Omar a boost ball. Yeah. And Omar probably deserves one just as much as anybody else. Yeah. I don't want to be one of those people that's destroying something just to destroy it. Yeah. No, you're not. You're giving him a toy. That's a piece of boost. I can get another one. All right, yeah. we're doing it. Let's go. Could you explain why you're in the suitcase? Well, every time. Hey. Really? Oh, shit. Come on. <laughs> hey, drop it. He is such a fucker. <laughs> oh! Give me this ball. Give me that ball. Ball, step in to your harness, sir. After you, sir. Hello, sir. Your table is ready. Come here. Come here. Omar, come here. Stay there. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 a little jerk. See you. Bright and early. Wait, what's, oh yeah, There's so. 500 milligram chance. I just wanna get it in as soon as possible. Whoa, pause, chill. <laughs> chill. Dude, I'm nervous. Are you nervous, huh? Yeah. They are three. Point seventeen. There ain't no faking it. That's right. You end up on a milk carton after this one, buddy. Oh god. I'm out. Later. Later.
Oh, this fucking car. Guaranteed, it's in the same parking lot. Oh my, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Today, I got in the mail a pair of shoes uh, that really no one gives a shit about. I, I give a shit about it, so there's one person. Uh, but that is the Ultra Boost Laceless LTD. This is the triple black colorway. A few of these, when I reviewed them last time was when they first came out. One of the things that I'll change about my review from last time is I said that they were super tight on your feet and some people may want to half size up. I removed the insole. Well, actually, I only removed the insole on one pair, actually. So that's not even true, but now both insoles are out. Um, but I removed the insole and it felt a lot better. I don't know, and I feel like they stretch out. I feel like the longer you wear them, they kind of stretch and form to your foot. So I don't necessarily believe that you should half up anymore. I think you should just go true to size and if you don't like it, to take the insole out and as they stretch out, maybe put the insole back in. As soon as you start walking around, they do, they do feel tight when you first put them on, but when you start walking around, they loosen up very quickly and it just kind of forms to your foot. Uh, so triple black colorway, all black. Black on black on black. But this does have, uh, well, I guess it's not all black because you can see the gray or silver or just the 3M reflective yarn peppered all throughout. And then you have a basically solid black band that cuts across the shoe where the laces would be. And this area is a lot more constrictive on your foot, which kind of holds your foot in place. A lot of runners don't really believe, well, I'm, I don't know, I don't want to speak for runners, but my friends who are runners don't really believe in laceless shoes for running. The claim from Adidas is you can run in these and that they're fine. I don't really have any real reviews for you because the only thing I really run is my mouth. 3D printed heel cup, there's still been zero real confirmation on that. Blacked out boost, for people who don't know black boost, I haven't noticed really any cracking or, or I know it's been a while since black boost was introduced and that's one of the big questions if it cracks or peels and I haven't noticed anything yet. Insoles on these are a little different. They have the new ultra boost insole. Uh, all PK construction on the upper. This PK is a little more coarse. It's not like, it's not crazy stretchy but this shoe is 3D map for running so Basically, it's supposed to, it's supposed to feel like there's really nothing on your foot at all. You should feel this invisible film of knit upon the top of your foot as you run and bounce back from the earth with the assistance of the boost technology. So, I mean, essentially, it should feel like really nothing's on your, it's like a sock, you know? And I think everyone knows that I really love sock-like shoes, and this is no exception. Uh, the sock collar on this is a little more comfortable. You got more of like a nylon sock collar. It's more elastic than, say, the uncaged Ultra Boost. So, there's just this kind of improvements, you know, in my opinion opinion the laceless I like the laceless better than I like the uncaged for the most part I haven't really gotten any like collabs or anything crazy with this shoe so um I really don't, you know, there's been a lot of interesting moves with it yet, but I do really like the shoe. The only thing that I don't like and I've been vocal about is this little tab on the front. But to be honest, now that I'm looking at it, this tab, like literally, you could just rip it off. It comes right off. So if you don't like that tab, you just rip it the fuck off. Pretty easy. For me, true to size, the triple black, sometimes, you know, the knit can be different. And an interesting thing about laceless that I've discussed too is there's this little panel on the, on the toe, like right there, that's completely different in its pattern. I don't know what that's for. Someone said it's like a reinforcement. I I don't know. It's a very strange thing. If you can explain it, I would love to hear it. I don't I don't have any idea. I hit some people up through Adidas and they couldn't tell me either. So I don't really know. Uh, black on black, straight murdered out, jaw rule. Ja 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 rule. Um, the 3M in those thing just pops. Like there's no 3M in the strap. Rest of the shoe is all 3M. I love things that are reflective. I'm simple. I like shiny things. My first custom of the year. Yeah. I don't know when the US release date is. I paid extra just to get these here early from the UK. Probably not the best shoe for a wide person foot. It is a little bit more narrow, but still very comfortable. Hugs your foot. Hugs your foot like a grandma. A lot of hype on this shoe. Don't really care. Hype is empty and a dead place where nothing actually exists. But that's a conversation for another day. And um, yeah, that's the shoe.